Hey everyone, welcome to my new series called So So Vintage here on A Vintage Vanity. What this series is going to do is it's going to capture the experience of me making my very first vintage dress. Now I'm not going to go step by step, um, but I wanted to give you an overall experiences of the challenges that I face, the questions that I had and the answers that I found and hopefully inspire one of you guys out there to actually either do it with me or start your own sewing project as well. Now, I don't have a lot of sewing experiences. I, I took some sewing in home ec, <laughs> that was a while ago, and I have made like um, some yoga pants, some pillows, uh, a Dementor costume for my nephew. Uh, so I do have a little bit of experience, but I'm not, um, a uh, great seamstress by any means. So let's get started. Now, what dress are we going to be making on this series? We are going to be making, um, this is actually one of the Butterick uh, patterns. This is one of their vintage patterns. This is from 1947. And we're going to be making this dress here. With the, I love the little cap sleeves. Um, this is marked, I believe it was marked as an intermediate, no, it's easy, it's an easy pattern. Um, the first thing that you're going to want to do when you grab your patterns, and I did buy this uh, pattern from Julian. You can also, I will put a link in the, in the description bar on where else you can purchase this. The thing that you want to do is right along the back, it is going to have bust, waist, and hip measurements. You want to take your largest measurement and match that up because you can always kind of taper things in, but it's really hard to taper them out. Um, and girls, let me tell you, if this is the first time that you're going to the store and you're grabbing a pattern for yourself, would you please don't freak out about the sizing. The sizing is vastly different than the stores. Um, I know the first time I went, I almost cried. Okay, I did cry a little bit. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, but yeah, the sizing is really, really different, so don't freak out about your size. It's just a number on a piece of paper. It's nothing to get upset about. Um, so, like I said, you want to take your largest measurement. Um, I don't exactly fit this pattern perfectly. The waist is still a little bit small for me. So what I'm actually going to do when I do the pattern is I'm going to expand that area a little bit. And I will actually show you how I do that when I get there. Alright, so the next thing that you want to do is... You want to... read the pattern instructions here. This will tell you what other things you need besides the fabric. It will tell you what types of fabrics are recommended. And if you are a novice at sewing, I recommend something easy like cotton. Don't get anything that's silky, um, that's stretchy. Um, you know, you want to stay away from jerseys. And the reason is that is it can be very frustrating to work with your first time around. Um, not that it's not, not that it's impossible, but if it's your first time, you don't want to throw an extra curveball in there. Um, so the other items that you need to complete this dress, and it's very few, you need um, hook and eyes. We're going to do a 14 inch zipper. And you're going to want your thread. As you can tell, there's a theme, uh, black. Yes, I chose black fabric. Um, the other thing that you're going to want to pay attention to is you're going to check your which dress you're using because the fabric yardage will change depending on what dress you're going to do. And you also want to check for your size what yardage of fabric you'll need. Now you'll notice off to the side there's um, 45 and 60. And that indicates the width of the fabric on the bolt. And it will say that on the label. If you're not sure, when you take it up to the cutting counter, ask them, bring the pattern with you. I've um, never had but helpful people when, I, when I've gone up there with, with questions. So you guys ready to see what fabric I chose? Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited by this fabric, I love it. 
I chose this. Um, it, it was a little bit pricey. It was seven dollars a yard. Um, but I mean, that's not overall. That's not bad. But if you are on a budget, pay attention to those clearance racks. Usually, there's some really great fabrics on there. Um, one thing with patterns, if you are going to choose a pattern, you want to choose one that is a random pattern. You don't want to choose a plaid for your first time out. And you don't want to choose something that is all has the same directionality. As you can see, these bunches of cherries kind of go every which way. And the reason for that is because when you're matching up your sides, you don't want to have to worry about matching up, um, you know, the cherries or the pattern that is on your fabric. And the other thing, when you're cutting out your fabric, you have to be really sure of when you're cutting it, if you're cutting it upside down or right side up. So again, if you're choosing a pattern, choose a random pattern for your first time out. Now, you're probably saying, Jen, that looks awfully wrinkled. Yes, it does. Um, you want to pre-wash your fabric, and that is because this is a cotton, so obviously cotton's gonna shrink. Um, so I pre-wash this before I cut it. So, what is the first thing we're gonna do now that we have all of our goods? The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our patterns and we're going to cut them out. But before we do, notice how this has, I mean, it's all like wrinkly and it's got lines and all that. If we were to cut this out, you could get a gather in it and you wouldn't get a true cut out. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to iron that. We're going to iron this. You want to do that on a really low iron setting so you don't burn it. Today, so so vintage. I hope you guys like this new series. I'm really enjoying doing it with you. Let me know. Post in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And also, if you want to show your support for Vintage Vanity, go ahead and click thumbs up. Let me know you like it. Um, I'm doing this because I can never remember what side the thumbs are on, so I'm putting it on both sides because then I won't be wrong or only half wrong. And also if you want to know when new videos are posted such as So So Vintage or any of my hair tutorials or my top fives for the month, um, go ahead and click subscribe. That'll let you know when new videos are posted and also it's completely free. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you soon. Have a great day.